If you haven't yet heard that we're planning a trip to Malawi this summer for a mission trip, I'd like to be the first to inform you. We have a mission trip planned July 18 through August 5 to go to the country of Malawi. And I have a friend of mine here, Ann Willette, who has come up from Virginia Beach, Virginia, to share a little bit about this trip because we're going on the same trip. And I know, Ann, that you're really excited and passionate about Malawi, but why Malawi? I am. I'm very passionate about Malawi. And the reason is uh, Malawi, I don't know if any of you, if all of you know where Malawi is, but this map kind of shows you where it is. It's a tiny little country in Malawi, or in, in the continent of Africa. And um, it's referred to as the warm heart of Africa, and that's because the people there are just so wonderful. They're so warm and friendly, and I fell in love with them. Oh, that's easy to do. Yes, it is. Very. So you've been there how many times now? I've been there three times. Oh, good. Um, and you think you might go again? Yes. Yep. I've been there for the past three years. I've gone each year, and I'm going again this year with Pastor Glenn and Donna, and we're leaving in July. Very good. And what group is sponsoring the trip? Um, I've been going every year with a group called Creative Global Relief, which is a brand new nonprofit organization. Their headquarters is in Norfolk, Virginia, and uh, it was started about four years ago, really, with Jimmy and Gail Strickland, who started it. It's very nice. Can you share a little bit about what we'll be doing there? Yes, I can. First of all, we're going to be there a little over two weeks. And the first week, we're going to be focusing primarily on some humanitarian efforts that we have ongoing projects in Malawi. Um, what we're trying to do is help people help themselves, help them be, to be um, sustainable in the efforts that we start there. The first project I'm going to talk about is the foot-powered irrigation pumps. These pumps um, act, as, they act almost like a step machine and it draws water through a pipe from a water source, and then it pumps it through another pipe um, out into the gardens. Oops, there we go. And here it shows just the water a little bit coming out, but I mean, if they're pumping really hard, that water will spray a very large distance to water bigger gardens, so they are able to have bigger gardens, more productive gardens. Another project that we have ongoing is a, the maize mill project. Maize is their staple food there, which is ground corn. And they grind it to a very fine flour, and then they boil it until it becomes very thick, almost like extremely thick mashed potatoes. So corn is extremely important to them. That's their staple food, but it has to be ground into this uh, powder. And so we raise funds to donate maize mills to villages, and it changes the whole village dynamic. We also have a project called the, the, our Child Sponsorship Project. We have 30 children and young folks. Uh, we raise money to help pay for their school fees so that they can stay in school, and also to buy them food, clothing, school supplies, and basically their basic needs. Um, so it's great. It's a great program. And besides these humanitarian efforts, what else can we get involved in there? Okay. The second week uh, is when we focus on the spiritual aspect of our visit over there. And during the day, we work with the children in Vacation Bible School. And also, at the same time, Pastor Glenn will be working with the local pastors there, teaching them how to use modern technology, how to set up evangelistic meetings using computers, uh, PowerPoint presentations, so forth. And then in the evening, we conduct our evangelistic series. We'll do three separate locations. Uh, they will be ongoing simultaneously in three separate locations. We will deliver health messages, children's stories, and the evangelistic message. And then at the end of our second week there, we'll have a baptism for all the people that came to the meetings. Last year when we did this, we baptized 147 people. Each person will receive a Bible in their own language. If they, each, each member that's been baptized gets a Bible in their own language, which is a real treasure for them. Most people never have a Bible there. 
So we also are involved in church building projects. This picture here shows Pastor Mfuni, um, and on the left there is Jimmy Strickland, the starter of, uh, uh, the founder of Creative Global Relief, and then Pastor uh, Fraxton Kuyama, who's the president of the Malawi Union. He's the president of the SDA church in the entire country of Malawi. And then the fellow to the extreme right is Tennyson Magumbo. He's our executive director of Creative Global Relief in Malawi. So and this was at a brand new church that we uh, built or had built in a village named Chivano. It was a very high day there when we dedicated that church. Yes, it was nice to be able to be there on the day that the church was dedicated that we as a local congregation in America had helped to establish. Mm -hmm. Anne, mm. is there anything that you would like to mm -hmm. share with people who may be possibly contemplating going to Africa on this mission trip? Or maybe they haven't really given any serious thought to that. Well, three years ago, if anybody had said I was going to go to Malawi, I would have, I would have said, no way, I'm not going there. That's the last place I want to go. It just never entered my mind. But Jimmy kept after me, and he wanted me to go. He thought it would be a worthwhile thing for me to do. So I finally decided to go, and I've been back ever since, every year. Uh, it changes your life. It gives you a bigger worldview, gives you a better vision of the world from God's perspective. And if you have even the slightest interest or the slightest inclination to go to a third world country or to go specifically to Malawi, come along with us. I would say go ahead and do it because you won't be sorry and it will change your life. You'll come back with a whole new perspective as to your own life and what we have here. So I hope that you'll show some interest. We're Thank having you. this meeting this afternoon. Yes, thank you. If you would like to see how a mission trip like this might be able to change your life and how you can affect others in a third world country, Malawi being one of the 10 poorest nations in the world, I would invite you to come this afternoon to an information meeting that we're having at